In today's video, we will introduce B210. This powerful software-defined radio platform can transform into any wireless device through computer software, helping you explore and create your own wireless world. Here we go! Part 1. Hardware Introduction This is our main subject today. B210 SDR integrates a Dula channel transceiver system on a single board capable of continuously covering the frequency band from 70 MHz to 6 GHz and supports full duplex 2x2 MIMO operation, providing up to 56 MHz of real-time bandwidth. It is connected to the computer via a high-speed USB 3.0 interface and is equipped with a user-programmable FPGA and a D9361 RF chip making it an ideal hardware core for wireless communication, experiments, and development. Part 2. Driver Installation Step 1. Download the driver. Open your browser and visit this website. Download the latest version of the UHD driver. Select the version that matches your system, such as Windows 10 by 64 version. Step 2. Install UHD. Run the downloaded .exe file and select the default installation options. It is recommended to install it to the default location to avoid path issues. Step 3. Connect hardware. Connect the USRP B210 to the USB 3.0 port of your computer using a high-quality USB 3.0 cable. Step 4. Install USB driver. Open the device manager, find USRPs, right-click, and select Update driver. Browse to the US River folder in the UHD installation directory. Step 5. Verify installation. Open the BIM folder of the UHD installation directory and run CMD. Enter odd underscore usurp underscore probe. Wait for a while. If you see the device information, then congratulations, the driver installation is successful. Part 3. Installation of new radio. This section is for setting up the software environment for new radio, which is your workspace for creating wireless miracles in the future. Step 1. Download. Visit the GitHub release page of Radioconda and download the latest version of the driver. Make sure to select the version that matches your computer, such as the Windows 10 by 64 version. Step 2. Installation. Run the installation program. Keep all options as default. The installation process will automatically configure all the dependent environments. Step 3. Verification. After the installation is complete, search for New Radio in the Start menu and open New Radio Companion. Seeing this graphical interface indicates that the installation was successful. Part 4. FM Radio Reception and Transmission FM Reception Experiment Step 1. Open the flowchart. Open the provided FM Reception flowchart file in New Radio. Step 2. Configuration Parameter The USRP source represents the baseband source of the USRP. Clicking on it allows you to view the parameters that can be set. In the RF settings, you can modify the center frequency for receiving or transmitting. The blue out represents the output baseband signal. If you need to adjust the frequency for receiving or transmitting, you can adjust this frequency. WBFM Receive is a demodulator for wideband FM, which can convert the input complex floating point to floating point, i.e. demodulate. 
Audio Sync is the audio output module responsible for outputting the input data at a certain sampling rate through the sound card. The sampling rate displayed in the picture now is 48K. Step 3. Run Program. After setting the parameters, click the triangle at the top to start running. You can see some prompts in the lower left corner, including information about the devices. Wait for a moment. Did you hear it? This is the FM broadcast received through the B210 FM transmission experiment. Step 1. Prepare audio. Wavy file source is responsible for obtaining a wavy audio file from a specified location and outputting it as a floating point sequence at a certain sampling rate. Here, you can select the audio file to be transmitted. Step 2. Set parameters. The WBFM transmit module is responsible for converting the audio to a baseband signal in FM mode. You can set the audio sampling rate, maximal frequency deviation, quadrature rate, etc. Uctr. Uctr sync is a baseband signal transmitter which upconverts the baseband signal to the center frequency and transmits it through the antenna. You can adjust the center frequency and gain as needed. Step 3. Verify. After setting up, click the triangle at the top to start running. You can see some prompts in the lower left corner. Now, you can verify the successful signal transmission using another device or radio. Here, I use SDR to receive this signal. Wait for a while and you can receive the transmitted FM signal on SDR. Note that the SDR receiving frequency must be consistent with your transmission frequency. Part 5. Signal Analysis New radio and US RPR used to receive wireless signals. To deeply analyze the time domain characteristics of these signals, Audacity, an open source tool, needs to be used. Step 1. Importing the raw data. Import the baseband file saved by new radio. It is crucial to correctly set the parameters. Step 2. Correctly setting parameters. First, Import the baseband file saved by new radio. The key is to correctly set the parameters. The encoding format should be 32-bit floating point. The byte order should be Little Indian. The number of channels should be 2, including IAQ channels, and the sampling rate should be set according to the actual value. Step 3. Waveform Analysis in Audacity, you can zoom in and out of the waveform by pressing Ctrl and scrolling the mouse wheel. Drag to select the analysis area and use Ctrl F to quickly restore the global view. Below, select Selection Length and Center, then choose Sampling. You will be able to see the sampling period of the selected waveform. At this point, USRP B210 responsible for signal acquisition, new radio for signal processing, and audacity for signal analysis. Together, they form a complete software-defined radio workflow. In the next video, we will introduce more applications of B210. If you encounter any problems during the operation or have any wonderful ideas you would like to share with us, Please feel free to leave a comment in the section below or contact us. Don't forget to follow our channel to get more practical tutorials. Thank you.